the young and the restless's Hispanic family was visited by an unpleasant member some time ago. Ray Rosales's estranged wife Mia Rosales came to Genoa City to mend her connection with him, but instead she ended up ruining everything between them after once again cheating on him with his brother Arturo and getting pregnant. She and Arturo eventually left for Miami in May 2019 to start their family. As of now, actress Noemi Gonzalez is all set to star in an upcoming biographical Netflix drama called Selena the Series. Watch till the end for details about the series as we explain what negative impacts the CBS soap opera made in her life. Hey everyone, welcome to Trend Street. Noemi Gonzalez left Weiner in the spring of 2019 and around the same time she booked a role in a Netflix production, a biographical drama about late icon Selena Quintanilla. Selena was a famous Mexican-American entertainer who was murdered in 1995 at age 23 by her manager and fan club president. In the biographical series, Noemi is set to play the role of Suzette Quintanilla, the sister and best friend of Selena. The Walking Dead alum Christian Marie Serratos is set to play the lead role as Selena. Meanwhile, Desperate Housewives star Ricardo Shavira will play the role of Selena's father Abraham. Mi Vida Loca star Sadie Lopez will play the role of Quintanilla matriarch Marcella and The Purge star Gabriel Chavaria will play Selena's brother A.B. The series is scheduled to release on Netflix on December 4 this year. Noemi made her television debut in 2013, playing the role of Soli Gomez in East Lost High Season 1. She appeared in various TV shows like Gang Related, The Kicks and Rosewood before finally making her daytime debut in 2018 by playing the role of Mia Rosales in YNR. More than a year after departing from the show, Gonzalez recently wrote an open letter to Entertainment Tonight where she opened up about her bitter experience from working on the show. In a heartfelt message that she shared with Entertainment Tonight, she stated that it was difficult for her to stay true to her identity while working on YNR. Wanted to be known for talents rather than looks, Gonzalez never believed that one should be of certain shape or size to be beautiful. I decided to love myself first and always. I decided I was going to rebel against the norm simply by existing wholly as I am. I wasn't going to lose my curves, drop weight in order to fit a certain mold. Was it more challenging? Yes, did I lose jobs because of it? Probably, but I wanted to find fulfillment in my work and in my public presence on my terms nobody else's," she wrote. However, after joining YNR, she went through a challenging time. I began to second-guess my self-love, body shape and what I found to be beautiful about myself. I was shaken. I stayed quiet. I kept my head down, stayed in the work. It was a very challenging time, but I am thankful for the growth, experience and the fans I have gained who knew I did it all for them. While it wasn't anyone from inside the YNR set that bullied her for her voluptuous look, Noemi says it was some of the viewers that ridiculed her publicly for not being skinny and white enough. Nevertheless, she is glad that she got the role in the iconic daytime drama and says that she would love to play the role again. For the role of Suzette on Selena, Noemi trimmed her signature long locks. She also put on some extra weight and learned to play drums. Speaking of her drastic transformation, she said, Stepping into this role was different, and without my long hair as a security blanket, I was really relearning what I loved about myself. We would like to wish Noemi all the very best for her upcoming project. Thank you for checking this video out. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for new videos every day. Turn that bell notification on if you want to hear from us and comment down below if you've subscribed and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can.